Mr. President, I rise to share my voice uh, with Lamar Alexanders um, at the loss of a, of a great Tennessean and a great American. And I appreciate so much uh, Senator Alexander chronologically going through much of uh, the great Senator Thompson's life and talking about the personal experiences. Um, Elizabeth and I, too, want to share our condolences with Jerry, Hayden, and Sammy, along with Tony and Dan, his sons by his first marriage with Sarah and his brother Ben. I was able to talk to uh, Tony last week as Fred was in hospice care, and as you would expect, uh, Fred being the kind of person that he was, never forgetting where he came from, they wanted to spend those last days together in quiet and didn't want a lot of phone calls or a lot happening uh, to make people aware of what was happening. But Fred had reached his end, and uh, no doubt, again, Tennessee has lost a, a great son, and as has our nation. Um, Fred was one of those people, as, as Lamar just mentioned, that had extraordinary talent. And the thing that, to me, was so unique about him having that extraordinary talent is he also had the gift of knowing when and how to use it. Um, his extraordinary ability, as has been chronicled as a lawyer, his ability when faced with a case that became something of national notoriety to to himself become an actor and play the role that he was in this case in real life, and then to serve in the United States Senate in the way that he did. Um, I too had the extraordinary privilege, as I have had, in knowing someone like Mar Alexander, who I think is one of the great public servants of our state, uh, Howard Baker, who's been a mentor to all of us and had such an impact on myself, on Lamar, and on Fred, but also to know Fred. Uh, back in 1994, as I was telling some Tennesseans earlier today, um, I was also running for the Senate in a race that no one remembers because of the results. But as uh, Lamar mentioned, uh, everywhere you went, people wanted to see Fred. Fred had this extraordinary ability to capture people's imagination. And Fred was unabashedly proud of our nation and never an apologist uh, for what our nation has done around the world to make the world a better place. But I was able to travel around and see these hordes of people gather around Fred and people would pat Bill Frist and myself and the other folks running in the other primary on the head and say someday uh, you too might be United States Senator. Fred was somewhat criticized that year because of the way he was going about the race. And again, uh, it reminds me of how much talent he had and his ability to know how to use it. And he told people, look, the first time I run a television ad, this race will be over. He did, and it was. As Lamar mentioned, he went on to win by 20 points because of the way that people felt around him, not all, felt about him, not only around our state, but around our country. Fred was very impatient with serving in the Senate, and I had multiple conversations with him about that. And, and, uh, and actually, uh, you know, serving here, one can understand with someone like Fred, who constantly wanted to make something happen, how that was a frustration. But I know for a fact in watching his early days coming in, uh, heading the Homeland Security Committee and doing the many things that he did, that he affected our state and country in a very positive way, something that all of us would hope to emulate. We will miss him. Uh, he is a rare talent. He is one of those people that just makes you want to do better when you're around him. I thank him for his tremendous service to our country. I thank him for the tremendous and deep friendships that he created all around our state. And I thank him for causing all of us to constantly remember where we came from. With that, um, I join Senator Alexander and again, in expressing our deep condolences again to his family and all who were around him, especially when the end came. With that, I yield the floor.